Hello, I'm Sharon Obermeyer, and this is my studio slash school, Mount Washington Artworks, oddly enough, here in Anderson. At our school, we do classes for artists of all ages from four through 84. Come on in and I'll show you around. So this is where it happens. This is the inside of our studio and you can see lots of the work that we make. Some of this is children's artwork and some of it is done by the adults. The work on this wall for the main part is uh, some of my work. I worked as a designer and illustrator for years and I also taught art in college for about 17 years. This is our paint center. We've got that by the gallons. We've got that covered. And again, this is more of our finished work. We have projects for students of all ages and um, they really like to take a creative spin on their projects. Here's our um, easel and our drawing board where we do figure out some of our um, how-tos for drawing. And these are some of our works in progress, the work of a lot of students who are uh, not yet done with their particular artwork. I'd like to introduce you to the real stars of the show. And these are some of our young artists from Mount Washington Artworks. This is Casey, and she's an excellent artist. And this is Kylie, and this is Caroline, and this is Emily. And um, they've been taking art here for a pretty long time and uh, are very, very good artists. For today's class, we're going to uh, create a drawing and a watercolor painting of a horse. The best artists are people that just really like drawing and painting and cutting and gluing and that stapling and artist. making things. Awesome. Perfect. He, like, has a whole binder. How pretty it's, it like, is. That thick of drawing. It's background number one, and we're going to put it over here and just let it get dry. And now we're going to pass out some paper and your pictures of the horses and we'll begin to do our rough sketches. The rough sketch is um, just one that we practice drawing on and then we're going to transfer that to the watercolor paper. We're going to start out with kind of an ovally circle in the middle. If you notice how many times I make my circle, that's called drawing through. And this is just a rough sketch, so it's not going to be our finished picture. So you can draw through as many times as you want. Nobody usually sees these rough sketches. I'm going to draw another circle. And then we're going to begin to connect the circles to make the animal. And we'll draw his, his muzzle. When we draw anything, even if it's something that you're very familiar with, it's usually good to have a picture as a reference. If you were drawing a picture of your mother, you probably would want to um, have her there or else have a picture of her to work from, even though you know exactly what she looks like. I'm going to be just drawing kind of stick figures for the legs. And then we can come back and put our form over those stick shapes to make the shape of the horse. So we begin adding the details. Some people leave their lines on, they're called construction lines, and it kind of gives your drawing a little more definition. I like to first put the place where the eye is located, and then I'll come back and maybe draw the real shape of the eye. Horses have big eyes and they're kind of pointed at each end, and they have really long eyelashes, too. <laughs> then I'm just going to put the nostrils and add the mouth part. When we're done with our drawing, we're going to transfer it to the watercolor paper. To transfer the drawing, we turn it over, and then you take the side of your pencil 
and just graphite across the back of it. And then we turn it over again and we're going to position it on our watercolor paper and we'll transfer the drawing just simply by tracing over it. So you can get your watercolor background and just flip it over like this and then we'll transfer it and by that I mean we just trace it until it comes through. Do not be worried if it doesn't all come through because we can add any lines that are missing. Remember you only need a light drawing to follow. This is just kind of like a, kind of like a road map so you'll know where to put your paint. So Emily has transferred her horse drawing to her watercolor background. So she doesn't have to do any erasing on this or redrawing. And now we're going to paint them in directly on the watercolor paper. You can use any color you want. You can do a typical, sorry, you can use a, do a typical brown or a black horse, or if you'd like to do a rainbow horse, you can do that too. It just has to be dark enough for you to be able to see where to put the paint. Nobody else has to really be able to see that image. And then we're going to paint it the same way that we did our background. Only this one will probably want to use a little less water because that will give us more control in our painting. The background we didn't care if it uh, got all blobby and blurby, but with the horse we want him to look something like a horse, huh? Can you like retrace it? Because I can't see it that much, even though I'm pressing as hard. Let's just add a few of those lines that are missing. Here's our drawing. And so we'll just look at that and just add a few of those lines, maybe the neck. This looks pretty good, though. I think when you, when you go to paint it, you'll be able to tell what's what. Here's a leg and a foot. And I pretty much fit it. Fitted it on the you did an excellent color. job of fitting it on. <clears throat> it looks beautiful. These colors are very light, so it won't be hard to co cover them with darker watercolor. If you want your paint to be darker, we can pick up more of the um, pigment and put it in with the water, and that'll give you a darker color. Oh, that is beautiful kind of a magenta. If you want it to be darker, Casey, use more paint and less water. So should we do like the actual body before we do like the hair? I think I would do the body because that's the most obvious main part. And also, um, if we put the hair over that, it'll it will um, cover up the parts that we want to uh, to be covered. Our finished horses are starting to come in now. This is Caroline's. Here's Casey's. Emily's. Oh, I love that. And Kylie's is still a work in progress. Thank you for joining us today. Remember that we have classes year-round at Mount Washington Artworks. And uh, the first class is free, so you can just try it out and see how you like it. Um, the classes run for eight weeks, but if you miss a week, you're welcome to make it up. If you have any questions, you can call us at 232-3648. Thanks again, and happy painting. Yeah.